see Jade Hamilton here um, back again after a, a long hiatus. Um, I've been off YouTube for a little while because I haven't been particularly well. I've been sort of dealing with a couple of infections um, which has been a bit of a pain in the neck um, but now I'm things are healing which means that I can come back and share some things with you um, and one of the things I wanted to share today oh dear it's got a bit of my my lunch on it sorry um is this wonderful book by Pamez um which was recommended by um a lovely lady called Caroline Knight who I is a, a YouTuber who does um lots of things to do with um reborns um if you are into that sort of thing, go and check her out. She's Caroline Reborn Knight on YouTube. And that's Knight as in K-N-I-G-H-T. Um, and, yeah, she does all sorts of lovely things. And recently, she found this book in a charity shop. And I love Pam Ayers, so after watching her talk about it in her video, I went and purchased a cheap copy off of eBay. Um, it's called Dear Mum, Poems for Mums and Their Babies. Um, it's published by Produce, I think that says... Um, and I think this must have been handed out to mums or mums to be back in the day. <laughs> um, and it is, it's lovely. I love Pamez's poems particularly the ones about motherhood because they are very funny and very wry um, and I also love the illustrations the illustrations are beautiful if I can show you here. Yeah, I'm not very good at showing the camera, am I? Sorry, but they are beautiful little cartoons. Um, and I found when I was looking through this, because this arrived earlier this morning in the post, I found that it contained. One of my favourite Pam Ayers poems ever, which is called Baby's Dinner Time. Or here it's just referred to as Dinner Time. Um, and I thought I would read that for you today because I, I thought we could all do with a good laugh. Um, with everything that's going on in the world, um, I thought we would have a chuckle together. Um, and it's particularly appropriate because I'm recording this having just had my own lunch. So, and little Kian, as I um, read this, is kind of lounging around in shock. And he's probably going to be wanting his bottle in a minute. So it seems appropriate to read this. Dinner time. It's time to have my dinner. 
half past twelve is come. My shouting and complaining have proved too much for mum. It might be bovel soldiers or egg and bacon tart. It might be mashed banana, but it's time to make a start. Mum puts me in my high chair and stands it by the wall. She gets the bib and harness and the suction plate and all. I push my feet against the table, not too low or high. The chair goes so, so the chair goes over backwards and I bump my head and cry. And then I get impatient and I rattle on my plate and struggle in my high chair so that mum gets in a state. I take my teacher beaker and twirl it by the spout. With any luck, the lid comes off and all the drink flies out. <laughs> Mum's keen on table manners if a visitor has come. It's always, sit up nicely now and eat it up for Mum. So what I like to do is take a mouthful of the food and smiling at the guest, I let it tumble out half chewed. Some I suck and swallow, some I suck and leave, some sticks in my hair and quite a lot sticks on my sleeve. Mum gets irritated when I, Mum gets irritated when I give the bowl a stir, so before she takes the spoon away I stick a bit on her. Mummy's had no dinner. She isn't looking bright. She's looking very tired. Still I grizzled half the night. Her eyelids keep on closing. Her chin is on her chest. Of all the things we do each day, my mum likes dinner time best. <laughs> <laughs> Have a wonderful weekend everybody, thank you so much for watching and I'll be back with you and um, introducing you to another one of my cubs very very soon, cheerio!